Colin Cheatham from Off the Ball in Dublin. How are things? Very well, thank you. And yourself? Very well. Uh, so there's been a lot written in Irish media over the last couple of days uh, about rugby and drugs in rugby. And uh, a question for you, as somebody who's worked in the Northern Hemisphere, uh, it's kind of a two-pronged question. We've had to ask hard questions in Ireland of underage players in, in schools as well. Does rugby have a doping issue and does South African rugby have a doping issue? I think... Um, <laughs> I'm a, I'm a forwards coach, mate. You know that's that's something for administrators to to answer. And um, I wouldn't have have a, to be able to answer that question. I don't have the information to answer that question. Um, you know, if you ask me something about the game specifically, I can answer that. But uh, I mean, that's that's for administrators. Are you concerned at all about the image of South African rugby? I think the image of South African rugby is portrayed about what you see on the field. You know, uh, we we competitive. We're a competitive nature, nation. Um, if you look at uh, from our sevens, sevens team, our well, competing on the world stage, uh, our junior side third in the world championships, junior championships, uh, the Springboks competing well, the women's team qualifying. For, so I think that's the image of, 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 of South African rugby that needs to be attained. I think um, if, if from a sports spectator point of view, of course, doping in sport is something that continually needs, to, not just rugby, continually needs to be addressed on a worldwide on a worldwide platform. So um, to, to talk about it from from an assistant coach position, I don't think it's my role to, to speak about. But, but 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 I mean, at, at your level, at this level of the game, I don't know what happens at school level. But at your level of the game, people are tested anyway. So we, surely you shouldn't be. We are sure. tested weekly, um, and the players can test it probably most off days. Probably six to eight players on a, on, an, on an off day basis would be tested uh, every week from. Prior to every every one of our uh, of our camps that we've been on, uh, right the way through super, uh, the, the rugby championship, into our preparation, every every Wednesday or Thursday of our off week, eight to eight, six to eight players would be tested on a weekly basis. That, that's an interesting point because ultimately, if you do have a failed test, it shows that the testing is working. I'm not sure if that's something you go along with. Is kind of it, it, that's arguable, I guess. Like, do you think that testing is working? And I guess on a local level and on an international level. It has to be working. I think it's a, that's what, what world sport uh, attains. I mean, it's, it's been proven uh, in athletics the, the way the, the Russian Federation was, was, you know, the testing is the only viable mechanism to, to ensure clean sport. Mm -hmm. so. but, uh, Gavin Comsley from the Irish Times. Sorry, I couldn't, couldn't get your name. Sorry, Gavin Comsley from the Irish Times. Hi, Gavin. But do you understand that the narrative, because even if you look at what happened with Craven Week and all that, it, it, we just haven't seen it anywhere else in the world that there is a, there's positive tests of teenage kids. Now, granted, the teenagers not being tested as rigorously in other countries, yeah. but do you understand why this narrative keeps coming back? I understand why the narrative is there. I'm just saying I'm, I'm not the most... I don't have that data to be able to comment on that. Uh, you know, if you if you ask me on something about scrums and lineouts and, and the play game, game against New Zealand, I could comment on that, but I'm not someone who, who gathers data on... on that's that we have a serious medical team in place in South African rugby that, that monitors that. Serious testing is done of this team, and that's a team I'm responsible for. Matt, talking about this, uh, um, exactly whether weather conditions could be quite quickly 